I'm glad you're finally getting your hair cut, Peter. You are starting to look like that bongo from the Beatles. I am so excited for you to meet Jerry. He's been cutting my hair for decades. I'm like family here. How do you do? Well, that's a fine how do you do. I have a 12 o'clock with Jerry. Oh, well, I'm sorry to tell you this, Mr. Griffin, but your barber Jerry has passed away. What? When? Recently. Jerry! Oh, that's someone else. But I can assure you, we have a wonderful team of lesbians wearing all black for you to choose from. No, I want Jerry! Come on, Peter. It's just a haircut. Come on, get up. You're embarrassing me. I'm not gonna. I hate you. Come on, Peter. You're acting worse than the time Chris auditioned for Stanley Kubrick. Peter, this is Jan. Now you just sit there while she and I conspiratorially discuss your haircut in front of you. <laughs> okay, Peter, think. You're a cartoon character. You can conjure up anything in the world to get yourself out of this. So long, Lois, and lady I accidentally called Sir. The lines are speed. I didn't draw any food or supplies. I drew that. Uh -huh.